and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 16th through the 30th, 2021. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. If you are interested in a personal reading, the link below, all the information is there for you. Um, also, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, the link below has all the information on my website about the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits definitely check out the testimonials page. Um, I've been doing this full time for over three and a half years now. And you'll also see I offer a 15% discount for your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of the discount uh, for your first session if you feel called to do so. Other than that, I think that's it for Shop Talk. We will get straight into your messages. Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for September 16th through the 30th, 2021. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just get into your messages. Whoop, first one out. Beautiful Pisces. First up, we have got Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and Six of Cups. Um, definitely communication for you with a soulmate, a partner, um, someone you're dating or getting to know. It could even be somebody from the past or somebody that you're kind of reminiscing about and thinking about. I see communication coming in here for you with this Page of Swords. That is the messenger card. So bringing through a message, whether it is a text, a call, a a video chat, an email, a face-to-face -face conversation, some sort of communication from uh, this Six of Cups person for you. Um, a soulmate, a partner, it could be somebody brand new coming in if, if you don't have someone from the past that might pop back up. And I'm loving this Nine of Cups energy here with you because um, this could be something that you've been wishing for, wanting, waiting for it to happen, and finally things are coming around for you and um, your specific person. I actually see this as a really positive um, reconciliation for those of you who, who are coming back together or who are going to be hearing from somebody. And the fact that we're kind of moving into, it just started pouring rain, so that's kind of... Oh, I'll read that as washing away anything that's in the way of this person coming back in for you or you coming back in uh, for this other person. Okay, general reading, it can go either way. Uh, but I just, I see you in a happy place, Pisces, with this Nine of Cups energy. Emotionally happy, content within yourself, and that's a re really beautiful place to be when a love um, does come in for us. Next up, we've got Ten of Swords, the Moon card, and the Chariot. So um, I'm really seeing this as, you know, the Ten of Swords, this person coming back in for you or this reconnection, whatever the challenges were in the past, I, I see that ending. Okay, so whatever caused the breakup before or the split up or the issues, this Ten of Swords is saying that is done. The time of any dishonesty, any being stabbed in the back or taken advantage of or underappreciated or anything like that, I see that as um, coming to an end, which is a really positive thing. And I've got that here with the moon card. So the moon is really about um, our deeper inner desires and wishes. On the surface, there can be a lot of fear and anxiety. Maybe the fear and the anxiety is what caused some of the pain in the past with this person. Um, but that's going to be cleared up here because the moon, the, the Ten of Swords, oops, the Ten of Swords, hold on, I'm doing this backwards. The Ten of Swords here with the moon card is the end, whatever's ending is helping to bring through the deeper wishes and desires. And the outcome of that, those three, is the chariot, which is movement forward, confidence, um, going in a positive direction. You could be taking a little trip with this person or a little vacation or weekend getaway. So I just see the challenges from the past staying in the past and you moving into the next level or a new cycle with this person. I've also got the High Priestess, Queen of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Pisces, I'm really seeing you here as this Queen of Cups. 
and look at how much you are facing and embracing your higher wisdom and inner knowing with the high priestess here. Like you're so directly linked to um, trusting yourself, knowing yourself, allowing your truth to come through. That's what the high priestess is all about. You have all the knowledge that you need within and you're ready to really fully embody that. So good work, Pisces, if you've been kind of aware of that and working on trusting yourself and knowing that you know what is best for you always. Anybody out there does not know better than you know in here. And with that, it's allowing for a brand new, stable, fresh start and beginning for you with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a start that has stability, that has a strong foundation, that is really there to grow into something long-term. And I feel um, this person coming back from your past, or if this is a new person coming in, I see it as really an opportunity to, to truly grow into something long-term here. Um, I'm seeing, okay, we've got Cancer energy out here. I'm also seeing Aries energy, Water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. So you could be dealing with another uh, Pisces. And let's see what else. I've also got Earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Remember, it's just a general reading, so don't get too caught up on the specific signs. Um, but there's definitely going to be a shift for you here with this relationship in a really positive way. So that Ten of Swords, don't be afraid of this. This is actually a good thing because that's coming to an end. Okay, let me get you any other message here. Wow, Pisces, you've got healing. Yeah, this partnership has gone through some serious healing and it's going to continue to heal as long as the two of you are open it, uh, open to it and, and keep in communication. That's going to be really important for you. So spend time together without technology, just face to face, heart to heart, talking, exploring things. That's going to allow this uh, to continue to deepen and grow. Um, also, I want to mention we have the Pisces full moon on like the 20th. So that could also be Pisces why you've got the moon card in the center of your reading. A lot of emphasis for you um, and with that ending. So that's going to really help solidify and uh, bring to culmination some of what needs to be healed and released so that this partnership can really thrive and grow. All right, let me whoop, get you a spirit animal message. Your spirit animal message is the raven, shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Ooh, I love it. There is power in your wisdom and words. Your wisdom, Pisces, is coming from that inner knowing, trusting yourself. Really beautiful confirmation there for you. All right, I love that spirit animal. You've got raven, shaman. I hope these messages uh, resonate with you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon, your rising, or really any other placement of Pisces. Um, thank you for your comments below the video. I do love reading those. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the link below will take you to my website where um, all the information on how to do that is there. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter uh, where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So uh, the link to my website has all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy for you. This has been my full-time work for over three and a half years now. So um, you can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials. And you'll see I do offer a 15% discount for your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you haven't already. Um, and I think that's it, Pisces. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of September. Enjoy your full moon on the 20th. And I'll see you guys back here for the first half of October readings. Take care.